All right, guys, let's have a conversation about Henrik Stenson. What an awesome player he is. He just won this last weekend at the Wyndham. Uh, he had a battle with Snyder Jans. It was incredible. That last hole, Snyder Jans almost holed out for Eagle uh, to force a playoff. But Henrik Stenson drained a, a long birdie putt on seven, 17 to give him a little cushion uh, for a nice margin of victory. But it was a great battle down the stretch. So I'll tell you, we got to talk about Henrik Stenson's swing. He does some things that nobody else does in the game. Very uh, particular moves to him, but they're very, very successful. I will say that I think that uh, Anna Norquist, who played in the Solheim Cup against Lexi Thompson, has a similar looking golf swing. I wonder if they've shared any of the same coaches. But I'll tell you, Henrik really loads up on the right side, has a great uh, leg drive and weight shift into the ball. And uh, I just think he just creams it. It's very interesting. And one of the most uh, noticeable things about Henrik Stenson is his unique forward press. A forward press is kind of a trigger move to get into the swing, but he's not really going forward. He's actually going backwards, as we can see here. He just moved off the ball a mile, but he's totally preloaded into his right side. I'm sure he's got the tension all the way up through his quads and into his right glute because he's going to fire off of that side like a pitcher coming off the mound. Yeah, Henrik Stenson is an animal. He's got such a powerful golf swing. It's really, really cool. So why don't we take a look at his swing down the line? Here we have a nice shot. This is probably his three wood. He hits this thing 300 yards and uh, it just makes him a real, real threat on these narrow courses. Even though he's a big bomber, he can place his three wood uh, very carefully all around these uh, courses with a lot of accuracy. Wow, that is so cool. So. His forward press move or trigger move is very interesting, and I'll show you why. Now, let's look at this swing again. Here I have uh, the tush line in there. This is something I've been showing people an awful lot of. And you may say, wow, he really doesn't have much hip depth here. You know, he's got a beautiful address posture and everything else. But let's watch that trigger move and how he gets into this swing. Right here. Whoa, what's he doing? Man, all of a sudden he's picked up like three inches of hip depth. Very, very interesting what he's done here. Now he actually moves forward, which is kooky as all get out. But he's super deep on that side, good flex in both his knees, and then everything turns. That's what I like so much. His shoulders turn along with his hips, and here we can see, you know, pretty parallel shoulders and hips as that club goes around. I think Henrik Stenson is going to be a guy that I, I hope for his sake, I believe that his back is probably going to hold up a little bit better than some of these folks who have a, a little bit of a crazier move. Now let's look at his swing from the front. This is really instructive. Look at this setup. He's just done his, his trigger move, his, his forward press or rear press, whatever you want to call it. My goodness gracious, look how far behind the ball he is. Isn't that incredible? So let's watch as he takes this club back. We're going to, let's put a line on the left side of his ear and look at where he goes from here. So he's totally loaded in his right side. I don't think he can get any more in his right side. He's going to have a nice wide turn. Look at his head. So as he gets to the top of his swing, he's already moved five inches or so off the line that he started at a dress. So as he's turning, his weight is already going into his left side. Unbelievable. His center of gravity is far behind that line right here. His center of gravity is moving forward during the backswing. That is so 
Interesting. Now look at this. He's in a beautiful set at the top of his backswing. Really, really, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, this move takes timing. When I was playing the worst golf of my life, I had the same kind of concept where I thought I wanted to basically lunge through the ball. Now his entire head is in front of the line that we set up when he began his swing. But he's going to stay centered from here on out. He just looks beautiful from here. I mean, my goodness. One of the best looking impact positions in the game of golf right there. I really, I think he's just one of the toughest competitors out there. I really enjoy watching him play. And then we see him deliver the club through the strike. Yep, that is one of the kookiest swings in the game of golf. Nothing wrong with it. He's a winner. He's a big time winner. But let's watch this move one more time just for fun. Yep, Stenson's really cool. Congratulations. It was a thrill to watch you play this weekend, Mr. Stenson. Thank you for the inspiration. And thank you for showing us a different way to swing the club. Everybody has a different way to swing the club, and it's been a real joy to be following the winners on the PGA Tour this season because I think that we all have a lot to learn. I, you know, everybody has to find their own way to swing the club, but I really, really enjoy uh, taking a look at these pros golf swings, and I hope that uh, you learned something today as well. So hit them long and hit them straight. Hey guys, so let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I use to become the golfer I always wanted to be. Now this video offers tons of insights that I picked up along the way while I was digging it out of the dirt. But if you get this video, I am convinced it will help you get to where you want to be in a fraction of the time that it took me. I don't think I know a person alive that doesn't wish they had a better golf swing. I used to be a hacker and then the next thing you know, I can shoot under par and I'm sponsored by the Ben Hogan Golf Equipment Company. Can you believe it? It's unreal, right? But it's true, it really happened. I did it and you can too. So go to MySwingEvolution.com where you're gonna find a completely revamped website with a social media platform where you can make your own profile and talk with other people on Team MSC about how you can take your game to the next level. Don't hesitate, go to MySwingEvolution.com today. And remember, hit them long and hit them straight.